In 1957, a masked hero graced the small screens, captivating audiences with his swashbuckling adventures. The TV series, a timeless symbol of the industry, endures for reasons beyond its era. What makes it stand the test of time? That's a question worth pondering. As you delve into the episodes, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny anecdotes, shocking twists, and moments that might tug at your heartstrings. So keep those eyes glued to the screen. You won't want to miss what's coming next. What fascinating tidbits hide beneath the surface of this classic series? Lesser known facts and untold stories add layers of intrigue, giving you a fresh perspective on the hero's journey. These nuggets of information are gems waiting to be discovered. As you reminisce about this iconic show, what cherished memories or personal experiences come to mind? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Share your connection with the Masked Crusader and let the nostalgia flow. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the tales of bravery and justice, there's something for everyone in this classic series. Unearth the enduring qualities that make it a symbol of the industry. Stay tuned for the unexpected funny, shocking, and at times, a tad bit sad. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this series that fascinate you? Share your most cherished memories or personal experiences in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and memories. In 1957, a masked hero took the television world by storm, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment history. The Zorro TV series became a timeless tale, drawing viewers into swashbuckling adventures that went beyond its time. As people tuned in, they were captivated by the charismatic allure of the Masked Crusader, connecting not only with the engaging story twists, but also with themes of bravery and justice. The show's lasting qualities lie in its ability to stir various emotions from laughter at clever anecdotes to gasps at surprising turns and even moments that touch the heart. Beyond the screen, Zorro's influence extended in different ways. Spin-offs, inspired by the hero's escapades, explored more of his world. These adaptations, whether in books or on screen, added to the expanding universe of Zorro, ensuring that his impact reached through popular culture. Merchandise also became a reflection of the show's cultural influence. The iconic image of the masked hero adorned numerous products, letting fans carry a bit of Zorro's mystique into their daily lives. The market was filled with Zorro-themed items, showcasing the character's lasting popularity and the show's integration into society. The Zorro phenomenon wasn't limited to the small screen, it became a cultural reference point. The hero's journey inspired conversations and connections among fans who shared memories or personal experiences tied to Zorro. The audience found common ground in their collective admiration for the masked Avenger. Looking back, the 1957 Zorro series is more than just a TV show. It's a cultural milestone, a demonstration of storytelling's ability to transcend time and connect with diverse audiences. Zorro's influence stretches beyond its initial airing, leaving a lasting impact that continues to inspire and shape culture. In the fabric of the 1950s, a legendary TV series emerged as a cultural phenomenon, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment history. This era played a crucial role in shaping the themes and content of the show, blending with the social backdrop of the time. As viewers tuned in, they weren't just captivated by the masked hero's daring adventures. They were drawn into a world where themes of courage and justice resonated deeply. The charismatic allure of the character went beyond the small screen. The show's lasting qualities lay in its ability to evoke a range of emotions from laughter sparked by clever anecdotes to gasps at unexpected twists and moments that touched the heart. In the broader cultural landscape, the influence of the hero extended beyond the screen. Spin-offs, inspired by the character's escapades, expanded the universe of the Masked Crusader, ensuring his impact reached beyond the confines of the TV series. The integration of the hero into popular culture went beyond storytelling. Merchandise adorned with the image of the masked figure became a tangible reflection of the show's cultural influence. Fans could carry a piece of the hero's mystique into their daily lives, solidifying their presence in society. The market buzzed with items inspired by the hero, underlining the character's enduring popularity. 
The Hero wasn't just a TV show, it became a cultural touchstone, sparking conversations and connections among fans. The shared memories and personal experiences tied to the character created a sense of community among the audience. Looking back, the 1957 series is a testament to storytelling's power to transcend time, connecting with diverse audiences, and leaving an impression that continues to inspire and shape culture. In essence, the TV series of the 1950s became more than mere entertainment. It became part of the cultural consciousness, weaving a narrative that resonated with the societal nuances of its time. The hero's influence endured, leaving a lasting impact that transcends the confines of the small screen. It's a reminder that, in the world of storytelling, some tales become timeless, echoing through generations. Amid challenges in making the 1957 Zorro TV series, Disney Studios wisely managed money by spending on what mattered and saving where viewers wouldn't notice. Directors often filmed parts of up to four episodes at once, sharing sets. While this helped efficiency, actors sometimes had trouble remembering the reasons for their scenes. During a two-year break in production due to a legal issue between Disney and ABC, Guy Williams, the main actor, kept getting his full pay. This show with Disney's loyalty to the actor despite the show's difficulties. The 1957 Zorro series was the third Disney show airing at the same time as the magical world of Disney and the Mickey Mouse Club. This trio of Disney shows was a big deal on TV during that time. The series went beyond just being a TV show. It became part of the 1950s culture, connecting with people not just as entertainment, but as a powerful way to tell stories. The show's lasting qualities were in its ability to make people laugh at clever stories and gasp at surprises. The hero's charm went beyond the screen, becoming a cultural symbol. Spin-offs, inspired by the hero's adventures, expanded the Zorro world, making sure the character's influence went beyond the TV series. Items with the masked hero's picture became a way for fans to carry a piece of the hero's mystery into their daily lives. Looking back, the 1957 series shows how stories can connect with different people and leave a lasting memory in culture. It wasn't just a TV show, it became something people shared, sparking conversations and connections among fans. The hero's influence continues, reminding us that certain stories become timeless and passed down through generations. In the 1957 TV series production, an unexpected Laurel and Hardy-like duo emerged Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon. Their on-screen chemistry resonated so well that Disney retained them even after the show concluded, featuring them in productions like Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus and Babes in Toyland. This clever move showcased Disney's savvy handling of talent, ensuring the duo's presence in various projects. In the City of Angels, Zorro's loyal steed bore the name Tornado. However, when the storyline shifted to Monterey, a new equine companion named Phantom graced the masked hero's adventures. This strategic use of different horses added a subtle layer to the narrative, reflecting the show's attention to detail in capturing diverse settings. A subtle detail lies in the opening credits. The name Zorro echoes 12 times within the first 50 seconds four instances embedded in the theme song's lyrics and an additional eight repetitions in the final 10 seconds. This deliberate repetition emphasizes the character's significance and sets the tone for the swashbuckling tales that follow. As the production faced challenges, Disney Studios demonstrated financial acumen by allocating resources where they mattered most. Directors ingeniously filmed parts of up to four episodes simultaneously sharing sets for efficiency. While this approach streamlined the process, it occasionally led to actors grappling with the context of their scenes. During a two-year hiatus due to legal disputes, the lead actor, Guy Williams, continued to receive full pay and nod to Disney's loyalty despite the show's challenges. The 1957 Zorro series found itself part of a Disney TV trifecta alongside the magical world of Disney and the Mickey Mouse Club, forming a significant presence on the small screen during that era. Beyond its role as mere entertainment, the series embedded itself in the cultural fabric of the 1950s. It transcended the TV screen, becoming a cultural touchstone where laughter, surprise, and the enduring charm of the hero resonated deeply. Spin-offs expanded the Zorro universe, and merchandise adorned with the masked figure allow with fans to carry a piece of the hero's mystique into their daily lives. Looking back, the 1957 series serves as a reminder of storytelling's power to connect with diverse audiences, leaving a lasting impact on culture. It wasn't just a TV show, 
It became a shared experience, fostering conversations and connections among fans. The hero's influence persists, underscoring that certain stories stand the test of time passed down through generations.